Now in this question we're asked to solve the sine of the angle x minus 20 degrees equals 1 over root 2 where x is greater than or equal to 0 degrees but less than 360 degrees. Now to do this, this is a good example which illustrates where we have to change the range. You'll notice that the angle we've got here is x minus 20 degrees and we've got the angle x just here not x minus 20. So we need to create a new range and to do that we need to subtract 20 from the x here. But if I do that then I must subtract 20 from each of these intervals here. So for instance 0 degrees take away 20 degrees is going to be minus 20 degrees and that's going to be less than or equal to x minus 20 degrees and that's going to be less than 360 take 20 which is going to be 340 degrees. And you'll see we'll use this new range later on. So I have my angle here sine of an angle equals 1 over root 2 so in order to proceed what I've got to do is do the inverse sine to both sides so that's going to mean that I have x minus 20 degrees on the left here equals the inverse sine of 1 over root 2. Now at this point you could draw the graph of the sine function but I prefer to use the quadrant method because I find it's a lot quicker. So we we'll just run through the quadrant method so we'll just draw the quadrant diagram here remember this is going to be 0 degrees and as we move in an anti-clockwise direction we go from 0 to 90 to 180 to 270 to 360 degrees. Now for this particular question sine is positive you'll see we've got the sine of an angle equals a positive value here and you should know where sine is positive and sine is positive in the first quadrant and the second quadrant so what you do is you just draw a line in the first quadrant mark the angle to the horizontal here and you draw another line not just anywhere like that it's got to be at the same angle as you draw the li this line here to the horizontal so we'll remove that and we'll put that in something like that okay these two angles are meant to be exactly the same size. So then, we now mark on the angles that we want and we have that the angle that we're looking for is x minus 20. So starting from here, turning anti-clockwise to the first blue line, we have that one. That's a possible x minus 20 degrees. Then we start again back at the zero here and we turn again round until we get to the next blue line. There we go. And that is another turn which is also a possible x minus 20 degrees. And we need x minus 20 to be between minus 20 degrees, that would be an angle down here up to 340 degrees so I'm allowed to turn anywhere round here up to about 340 degrees which is going to be there and you can see that the only two angles that are in this particular range would be this one then and the green one so what I need to do now is just find the inverse sine of 1 over root 2 and if I do that you should really know this one but if not use your calculator make sure you're in degrees mode by the way okay 1 over root 2 inverse sine you should find you get 45 degrees so where is that 45 degrees on this diagram well clearly it's this angle here so I'll mark that in as 45 degrees and because I mark that and that angle exactly the same this one here will be 45 degrees so that will help me with my values here the red one x minus 20 is clearly that 45 degrees and then for the green one I've got to do say 180 degrees half a turn minus the 45 degrees so 180 minus 45 
gives us 135 degrees. So this is the red one, 45, and this is the green angle, 135 degrees. So all that's left to do now is just simply add 20 degrees to each of these two answers, and that will give us x. x equals 45 plus 20, which is 65 degrees, and 135 degrees, add 20, is 155 degrees. And that brings us now to the end then of part A.